So 55 is the key number. At $55, if we stay there and you say, as you mentioned earlier, it's a very big if, yeah. then the world's biggest oil companies start to make money again. If we go back down to 50 during 2017 and we stay at 50 or lower, then we, we, those companies are in negative territory and they're back in survival mode, which is where they've been for the last two years. Gosh, okay, that, that's not, not, a heck of, not, not a heck of a lot of margin, five bucks, right? Let's take a step back, though. Uh, this all depends on, look, OPEC, the independents agreed production cuts up to 1.8 million barrels. Uh, what, what, what is what McKenzie sense? I mean, are they going to be able to, to execute, to deliver? Uh, is compliance going to be an issue as it has been for... Well, since OPEC's inception, right? These guys, I mean, almost by definition, they overproduce. They stick a number out there, then they overproduce. Yeah, great point. <laughs> so, and then what's make this even more complicated is that not only do OPEC have to adhere, but we've got Russia and non-OPEC as well jumping on the bandwagon yeah. as well. So, our view, will everyone adhere 100%? Certainly not. But will we see uh, a, a sizable commitment by Saudi and the others? Are they serious about doing this? We think they are. Okay. So, even under a, a partial adherence case, our view of oil prices. What are we prices, talking about, 75% compliance? Something like that, yeah. Okay. That's a good number. Right. Then we'll see, our, in our view, oil prices will average around $57 through 2017. Ah.